What is up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Liverpool Carrier Road Season Review and I will show you the squad report and but you guys have to make some big big decisions in this summer transfer window. I want to make the series even better so my plan is to sell maybe one of the superstars. Do you want me to sell either Marco Royce or Quincy although I don't really want to sell Quincy, he's my favorite player in this carrier mode. Or should we sell one of the likes of maybe Jordan Ibe or Alex Teixeira just to give the youth academy players, you know, more playing time and that will hopefully freshen up the series and I also want to sign some region players but do you want me to sign a superstar in this summer trial series though or do you want me to just uh, promote more youth academy players and focus on the region players as well? We could sign the Zlatan Ibrahimovic region or the Chubby Alonso region. So let me know guys, what would you prefer? I will create a straw poll vote where you guys can vote for your decisions. So either sell uh, Royce or sell Teixeira or sell Ibe. I will definitely sell one of the three of them. I think it would make the most sense to sell Jordan Ibe because he's not, his rating is not really growing, growing and as you can see a youth figure player like Nunez is already 78 rated, he's close to 79 and I will train him during the summer transfer window and hopefully he will be almost as good as Jordan Ibe. If you want to see the next episode with the best goals of season 5 and also the planned of season awards and the Euros starting leave a like on this video and let me know who should i sign who should i sell in the summer transfer window really excited for next season but don't worry guys i will focus on my other carrier mode as well the, my player carrier mode is coming back i will continue my napoli and boonum of carrier mode and i will finish my napoli carrier mode as soon as possible and then i will start a brand new carrier mode in the bundesliga really pumped for that so what i actually decided to do because we have so much money in the transfer budget i wanted to E to e extend the contract of a lot of players so Nathan Klein, Emre Chan, Jordan Anderson they only had one year left on their contracts so that's why I wanted to extend their contracts Flanagan, Teixeira, Cortez, Quincy Promes, Royce, Dominic Lane the Youth Academy defender that I'm really looking forward to and Jose Enriquez and Claudio Ribeiro two Youth Academy players who just promoted well I showed you the, their stats already but yeah let's take a look at their stats so this guy actually has a quite a lot of pace so I think I will keep him and I will train him he has only 62 finishing but look at that this is what I'm most excited about four star skill moves five star weak foot and he's English and he can play up front he can play as a center forward and he can play as a, ga as a cam so already we have another gem in our club Jose Enriquez and he's English as well so he's basically, I guess, from, from Liverpool, so he's a scouser and I really hope that, that I can bring him through. And this guy has 3-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot, he's a left back and he doesn't have a, quite a lot of acceleration, but his sprint speed is pretty decent. So I will train him and I will loan him out and we shall wait and see. And yeah, let's, let's add him to the loan list, but this guy... I will not loan him out, I will train him because he can become an absolute legend so I will keep him in the club, I will keep training him because you know that there are not a lot of youth career players who have the pace that he has so I'm really excited by this guy. Yeah, we will play in the Euros before the season, next season begins and what a strange group that we got into. Three teams from the UK, England, Scotland and Wales. Just, I, what is EA thinking doing this? Honestly, this is just incredible. But yeah, so the Premier League, I showed you the Premier League table in the previous episode. But if you haven't seen it, make sure to watch, uh, watch the last two episodes in the Liverpool Carrier Mode playlist in the video's description because they were the two best episodes I've ever done. I, I won the Community Shield, so in the end we won three trophies, which I was very, very happy about. We won the double, the Champions League and the Premier League. And Arsenal won the FA Cup against Manchester United. So Manchester United last season lost the FA Cup final against Liverpool. This season they lost the FA Cup final to Arsenal. So Arsenal, even though they couldn't win the Premier League, because of us, they won the FA Cup. The League Cup was won by Crystal Palace. We went out quite early to Manchester City. 
in the League Cup and I'm very happy for Crystal Palace and Alan Pardew that they picked up a major trophy. The pre-season tournament was also won by me on penalties against Atletico Madrid. The European Super Cup was won by Barcelona. They won the Champions League last season. And this season they also made it to the final. Last season they knocked us out in the semi-final. But this season we got revenge and we have beaten them in the Champions League final. So I'm, I'm so happy that I won the Champions League. Finally, after two seasons of not winning it. It is my proudest achievement. Champions League winners for 2020 in this Liverpool career road. A fantastic run in the Champions League. We knocked out Wolfsburg. 6-3 on aggregate, we have beaten them 5-1 at home, which was a mesmerizing game. And then we knocked out Juventus, only just drawing the first game 1-1 and then winning at home 1-0. And then the semi-final was crazy. We, we got a 1-1 draw against Man City at home, they scored in the last minute, but then they, we went to the Etihad Stadium and smashed them 5-1. And then of course the Champions League final went to extra time and missed the penalty. Barcelona also could have scored the second goal, but in the end it was Royce who came up with the winning goal. And the Europa League was won by Bayer Leverkusen, so we will play Leverkusen in the European Super Cup final. Really looking forward to that game. Tottenham only went to the quarterfinals, Leverkusen, the eventual winners, knocked them out. And Arsenal also only went to the quarterfinals, Lyon knocked them out. And yeah, you can see all the different teams. Uh, here in the, in the Europa League. But now let's actually see the top scorers of each competition. So I'm really, really excited to see. Di Santo won the top scorer award in the Europa League for FC Schalke. And Marco Royce with that penalty, winning penalty in the Champions League final, became the joint top scorer of the Champions League time ago. Capital One Cup, you know, a lot of early rounds. So Sharp, Billy Sharp from Sheffield United won the top scorer award and Fulham uh, McCormack won the top scorer award in the FA Cup and in the Premier League I already show you this Premier League the top scorer award went to Boney and uh, yeah let's take a look at the squad report now because I'm really really interested to find out which players grew the most so Ter Stegen even though you know, a lot of a lot of you guys, uh, including myself, was a little bit disappointed in that he was only 82 rated when we bought him. I'm I'm happy to say that he became a hero. He saved uh, Barcelona one on one in the 190th minute in the Champions League final, and he won the double with us. He won the Premier League and the Champions League and and, uh, and he was magnificent in some of the games. He made crucial saves. So very happy with him. And Cortez, also a young player who I will sometimes play in the lesser games next season. Jack Butland will be sold and Loris Karius will be bought. But do you, do you want me to buy other players that Liverpool are linked with? The likes of Sadio Mane, even though I bought him once and he didn't really impress me in the, in the career mode. Also, I could buy uh, the likes of Zielinski and Dahoud, two players who are who might be you know exciting players to use. I think I will sell this guy Sampaio because he's just not, not growing at the rate that is expected. I mean, he has 60 handling, 58 positioning, so yeah, I, will, I, feel, I think I will sell him. Nathan Klein had a great season. David Harley is improving very nicely. And um, as, as you can see, he's already 79 rated. The big downside is that he's not, you know, the fastest. So, And John Flanagan, on loan at Borussia Mönchengladbach, he had a great season. And he improved by quite a lot, actually 82 rated. So very happy to bring him back, John Flanagan. And hopefully he will play a big part next season. Niklas Schüle and Varane. Two absolute rocks in defense, both very, very good signings. And Varan came in and he was just a beast in defense. I think defensively we are pretty much sorted. We don't really need any defenders. Well, I will replace Moreno with Jose Gaia. I think we signed Gaia on a pre-contract agreement. But what I'm most looking forward to is this guy, Dominic Lane, coming back from his loan spell. At Aston Villa, he will play a huge part, and he can play fullback, he can play centre back, 
And that, as you can see, he has insane stats. He's six foot two, and interestingly, he scored against me at Anfield. Yeah, and then he got sent off. I missed the penalty, and in the end, we lost to Aston Villa. Thank goodness that didn't cost me the title because I would have been quite angry at Dominic Lane, but he just tried his best for Aston Villa, so no, no hard feelings really. And uh, Joe Gomez is also improving very nicely, he's 77 rate. Maybe I will train a little bit, maybe I will train him a little bit more. And Alberto Moreno, you know, I'm not selling him because he's a bad player, he's a very good player. But he has been at Liverpool all this series for five seasons and I just want to freshen things up. So I hope you don't mind. Maybe I will sell Firmino as well, just to freshen things up and I could bring in another centre midfielder. Uh, Jordan Anderson also had a very good season he scored in the in the premier league game which won us the title on the last day of the season emre chan also very good decent player so yeah and i'm really looking forward to shovumi who is already better than emre chan he has two goals and four assists i expect a little bit more from him he has uh, yeah not the best finishing and long shot so i will try to train him even more but he has good pace and troy mcdonald oh man this guy he, went, he came on as a, you know, in the Champions League once and he scored a banger from 30 yards, absolutely insane. Richard Le Bazur is also having a, had a great season. And then Marco Royce, 15 goals in, and 5 assists in 40 games. And he was, the, he was a big, big player in some of the big games. He scored cru crucial goals. Let me know, guys, what should I do with Leroy Sané? As you can see, he's 79 rated. He's not really improving by much. I think he only went up rating wise by two since we signed him. I keep loaning him out. But I think I will sell him and focus on the likes of uh, Nunez and the youth players because he's just not, not growing by the rate that is expected. Mario Götze also had a decent season, five goals and five assists. He scored some important goals as well. And Firmino, the reason why I might think about selling him is uh, he only has two assists and five goals, and that's just not good enough. His finish, his finishing is not very good, and and he's not improving at the rate that we expect. So, and I, I like Teixeira. If I had to choose, I would sell Firmino instead of Teixeira because Teixeira has 85 finishing, in, insane pace, and he's just uh, he's scoring more goals. When I played him up front, when Quincy and Royce was injured, he he scored in, in almost every game. So. So yeah, and then we have some youth gallery players. Isco also had a good season, seven goals and five assists. Very happy with his contribution. He has been a brilliant signing. And also Quincy, even though he has, was out injured for a long time, he still scored 14 goals and eight assists. What a legend this guy has become. Uh, shout out to Nexi, one of my subscribers who recommended Quincy to me. At the beginning of this career mode and and that was just the best decision ever and Juan Nunez what a guy and this is my favorite youth career player since the black trousers man Joseph McGee he has been incredible and he could he could have scored a lot more goals I remember him missing the post or missing some one-on-ones so next season will be the breakthrough season for him in my opinion I think he will score 10 to 15 goals with the stats that he's having wow what a guy. And Daniel Heard, I, I'm, uh, I'm transitioning him into a midfielder because he just doesn't have the pace to play on the wing. And uh, yeah, this guy is actually pretty okay for Wolfsburg, Andre Smith, but he's not good enough for, to play for even our second team. And Paolo Dybala, the, I think, hands down, the player of the season with 17 goals and 16 assists. What a legend and I might do a player of end of season awards show in the next episode and also maybe show you the best goals of uh, season 5 of this career mode uh, and do a, a really awesome highlights show, a compilation of the best goals of, uh, of uh, season 5 so if you want to see that let me know and Divo Gorigi he only misses out by this much for the player of the season award because he also had an incredible season 15 goals and 9 assists I'm actually tempted to maybe sell either Royce or you know or Firmino and just put Divock Origi 
uh, in the starting 11, in the, in the first team, because his goal scoring ratio is incredible. So, but, uh, but so is Marco Royce. So, yeah, and Jordan I, I think I'm, I might sell him and uh, just focus on the youth carry players. But he had a pretty good season. The reason why I'm, I might sell him is that he's not growing. He's 24 and he reached that 80 level and he's not going up anymore. He, he's still contributed by a lot. Five goals and eight assists. That's very good. And then the youth carry players who are unknown. Luke Baldwin, really promising player. But to be honest, we have quite a few wingers and they just lack the pace that Nunez has. And if you want to play on the wing, you need blistering pace. And Joe Vabara, I was thinking about maybe playing him in midfield, but he doesn't have the passing stats for that. So he might have to be sold. We shall wait and see because his, his pace is just won't improve by a lot. But this guy actually has the pace. Fernao Pauleta. So... I think I might keep this guy and, and train him. He scored in a preseason uh, tournament. And yeah, the other wingers, I don't think I will keep them because they just lack the pace that is needed to play uh, up front. Also, I wanted to check the other leagues uh, and uh, tell, tell you guys who got promoted, for example, from the Barclays, uh, sorry, from the English Championship. I'm really interested to find out Actually, Newcastle United, who went down last season and also they went down this season in real life, and Queen's Park Rangers got promoted. Leicester City only finished third, and they, I'm not sure if they got promoted because uh, we don't, we can't see the playoff final and who won it. So Leicester City might not be in the Premier League next season either. That's very interesting. In France, Paris Saint Germain won the league. No, no surprise. But Bayern Leverkusen, wow. They won the league ahead of Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund. That's insane. And they also won the Europa League. So Bayern Leverkusen had an amazing season. And even though their goal difference was a lot worse than Bayern Munich and Dortmund, they were just more consistent and they won the league by 5 points. And Lazio won the Serie A. Wow, some big, big surprises in some of the big leagues. Uh, Juventus only finished second, Inter third, Roma fourth. And, uh, and yeah, let's take a look at the other leagues. Of course, you can pause the screen at any time if you wish. Ajax won the Dutch league. I know uh, you have quite a few Dutch subscribers. Uh, so so I wanted to show the Dutch league for them. And yeah, you can see all the other leagues. Uh, and Portugal, the Portuguese league was won by Porto. Benfica came second. Braga came third. And yeah, let's take a look at the other leagues. The Russian league was won by Zenit. The Scottish league was won by Celtic. Of course, you know, Rangers wasn't in this league at the start of this career. But then what? Oh my God. Some of the surprises in the other big leagues. Valencia won the Spanish league ahead of Barcelona, Atletico Madrid. And Real Madrid only came fourth. Wow. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome. See you later. Goodbye.